Welcome to the D45 Tech Talks. I'm your technology coach and host, Matt Granger. And today, our topic is going to be using the smart response system or the clickers um, and how do you using the setup tool. The first thing you need to do is go through the setup tool to make sure that smart response, the software, is looking for the correct uh, devices that you're going to be using it for. So that's what this episode is going to be about. There will be other episodes on creating questions, using instant questions, starting questions, how to access the data after an assessment, how to use smart response for formative assessment, summative assessment, a lot that you can do with it. Uh, but before you can do anything, you have to go through the setup tool. So we are going to watch a little video about that and then we'll talk about it at the end. To find the smart response in Windows 7, in the Windows notification area, that's this area at the bottom right, uh, it's usually going to be found here with the arrow, the hidden icons, and right here, smart response. Now, any that are in here that you want access to all the time, like I've already done it here with uh, the smart board, but you can drag it from there and put it over here. That just gives you quick access to the ones that you're going to use most frequently. So you may or may not want to do that. So when I click on that, it's going to open up this window. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the setup tool. Now, in Notebook 14, which we have, we have what's called Smart Response VE. Everybody has access to that, whether you have a setup clickers or not. Smart Response VE, the VE stands for Virtual Edition, lets you use any internet connected device smartphones, iPads, Chromebooks, classroom computers, lab computers, anything that can get to a website. If that's how you're going to be using them, if you don't have clickers, that's the one that you want to select, and then you would click OK. If you do have a set of clickers and you're not going to be using the Response VE, you're going to use this one here, Smart Response Sentio. Those are the types of clickers that we have, so that's the one that you're going to select. If you are going to be sometimes using the clickers, sometimes using the Smart Response VE with the Chromebooks or iPads, then you could do the multiple devices and include Smart Response VE. That way, when you have the clickers, you can use those. If you're going to use Smart Response VE, you're set up that you can do that, and then you would click OK. This has to be done to let Smart Response know where to look for it. If you're using Re Smart Response VE, it's not going to be looking for one of the little receivers plugged in. If you are using the actual clickers and you don't have this one selected, your receiver will always be red. It will never turn green. It will never read it because it's not looking for it. So, the setup tool. Are you going to be using Chromebooks? You want to use the Smart Response VE. If you're going to be using actual clickers, one of those sets, you want to use the Sentio Smart Response. If you're going to be using both from time to time or at the same time, then you want to use the Mixed. That's basically all there is to it. But that's the first step. Once you get that set up, then you're ready to move on. Create classes in the teacher tools, uh, and there will be a video for elementary as well as middle school for that because a little bit different process because of the same students most of the day with elementary and your uh, multiple periods with the middle school so a little bit different class set up for that so hope this helps get you started if you need any assistance with this you know how to get a hold of me, M. Granger at d45.org, and I'd be happy to come out and help you. Thanks for watching.